All right, so I'm going to set this up now. I got it apart. It literally took me less than 10 minutes to take it apart. Now, to put it back up, first of all, I want to show you, I've got two permanent structures. I've got both sides, and that's where I've got the two horizontal rails with the pegs that I showed you. All right, this stays permanent. This is one of the 45-degree braces that has a bolt through here, and I've got another one right here, and then this will move, okay? But that also, I just keep this on here, so there's only four bolts. And if you're by yourself, you can still do this. I've got an oak dowel through the top, two and a half inches in and glued, nice and strong. I've got that on all four corners. Then I've got this horizontal brace with a hole, and I've mortised it out so that it fits over the top. All I've got to do, I can do this by myself, fits right on top, okay? And all I've got to do is stand it up, and then stand this side up. All right, you can see even it's light enough so even if I'm by myself, I can do this work. And then I stick it through here. And that's it. All right. Now I can go ahead and take my 45 degree cross brace, which I've got notched out. If I want to bring that camera over here, I can show them. Come on over here underneath. Come underneath and look up. You see this? See how I've got that notched out so that'll fit over the top and the bolt will go through. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bolt all four of these and then I'll do the back. All right, I'm just going to draw that in, make this nice and tight. But as always, you never want to over tighten something like this. That's it. So this structure is already freestanding and solid even without the back. I don't really need anything else. If this was a wilderness structure, I wouldn't use the bolts. I would, I would use the wood pegs and I'd make it permanent. But uh, I want to be able to take this down and transport it. I use this for uh, schools. Use it. We could take it to churches. We could take it anywhere we need to go where somebody's interested in doing one of these classes with us. So that's why I use those four bolts. Now, I think I got this one right. This is just the back horizontal. And again, it just fits over the wooden dowel. It's not going to go anywhere. Don't need to do anything else with it. Okay. Now you can also notice here I've got these pegs sticking up here and here, and that's just for a ridge pole, just a roof ridge pole. Again, you can see with the hatchet I've notched this out so it fits over the top of the, the beam in the back. It just Jumping ahead of myself. Okay, we'll do this one first. And then I'll put it on the back. It's nice and snug. Okay, now the reason I put this here, give it a little bit of support, but more for support for the roof. All right, and that's just a tarp. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie a tarp on here now. And that'll be it. So I'm gonna grab that. You can see what I've done here is I just pre-hung these ropes. Okay. And then it makes it really easy. So just tie it on. So when I take it off, the ropes just stay on the tarp and I just do a little knot that makes it much easier to take down and put up so that's it and then all I do is set up our log tables in the front and we can work anywhere use this for uh, when we do birthday parties and um, anywhere we need to travel with it just put it in the back of a pickup truck and easy oh one more thing you gotta hang your sign And that makes it official. There you go. Very inexpensive, uh, environmentally sound, recyclable materials, pine, don't have any nails in it other than the four bolts. Uh, costs probably about 20 bucks tops, maybe less. And you've got a portable or permanent shelter for your backyard or whatever you need. We have a lot of fun with stuff like this, so get to work. <laughs>